Well, it turns out that the listen bus is only one of many ways that we can manipulate the control room mixer and what we hear from our project. Another much more customized and specific way to create a specialized mix for any of the performers in your studio who happen to be tracking at the same time, or whatever you want to use it for, is to use studio channels in combination with studio sense. And we're going to show you how to do that now. So in order to create a studio channel, we go to the Devices tab, VST Connections, and go to the Studio tab. Then we add a channel, Studio Channel. And we can just call it Studio 1 in a stereo configuration. And that creates a studio channel in the control room. Now you'll notice the first thing that happened was that now we have a studio channel in addition to the control room channel in the control room mixer. Now, the studio channel, of which you can create four of them, can be sent to dedicated hardware outputs on your audio interface. So if I go back to the VST Connections window, and I choose where I want this studio channel to be sent to, uh, let's say I'm going to go with my analog 5 and 6 outputs. Now, anything that's connected to those outputs, those 5 and 6 outputs, will carry whatever the studio channel carries. So you'll be monitoring this channel on outputs 5 and 6, while we are still monitoring the control room channel on our main monitor speakers. So in that way, you can send a specific mix to a performer who's tracking to their headphones, and they can have their own customized mix while you in the control room are listening to something else entirely. Now that we've set up a studio channel, we can send a customized mix to that studio channel using Studio Sends. But before we do that, I want to make sure that everybody understands this area right here. Those are the monitor source buttons, and it can get a little bit confusing, so I want to make sure we go over it so everybody understands. We are currently listening to the control room channel, and that will be true throughout the remainder of this tutorial. But Studio One has its own special set of outputs out, out of my audio interface, and they're going to our mythical person in the tracking booth who's got his headphones on. And he is going to be listening to the Studio One channel. Sometimes these two will output the same thing. Sometimes they will not. And that is what these monitor source buttons are all about. So currently the control room is set to listen to the main mix, the stereo out, the output of the stereo out. And we know that because the, this mix button is set as our monitor source. We can also listen to the output of the Studio One channel by setting this S1 button as our monitor source. So now the control room is actually listening to the Studio One channel and not the main mix output. The Studio One has its own set of monitor source buttons. And you can choose between the aux button, which means it's going to be listening to the auxiliary sends or the studio sends that we're going to be talking about in the next video. Or you can set it to the mix button, which is just like on the control room, you'll be listening to the main mix, the output of the stereo out. So in this configuration, if the mix button is set in Studio One, and we are set to listen to Studio One in the control room, we'll actually still be listening to the main mix. So if I start the project, you'll note that we're listening to the exact same thing. But if I change Studio One to, say, the aux input, you won't hear anything because we have not set up the Studio Sends to output anything to the Studio One channel, and the control room is still listening to the Studio One channel. But I can change the control room's monitor source by going to the Mix button and hitting that. And now the control room is listening to the main mix, while Studio One is still listening to the output of the Studio Sends. So this does not affect, what we're hearing does not affect what the person in the control booth or the tracking booth is listening to in his earphones. And that's the important thing to realize in this scenario. And it gets a little bit more confusing the more channels and aux inputs you add to the control room mixer because this gets expanded. 
So I just want to make sure that everybody's on board with that and the same page with that. And now we can go on to creating a customized mix for our tracking performer in the booth using Studio Sense. And we'll do that in the next video.